Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Just back today with another vinyl update. Um, I've actually got more stuff coming through, but I just thought it would like take a lot of time to film that video with all this and the, the other stuff, so this is sort of like a partial update. So I got some 7 inches, I got some all some other stuff. Um, I'll go through it, I'll start with 7 inches just for the hell of it. Got uh, Cover Me by uh, Bruce Springsteen. It's Cover Me and uh, Jersey Girl. Uh, it's a 7 inch, it was a buck, you know. You can't complain. Got uh, The Stray Cats, uh, Rock This Town. It's uh, Rock This Town and Can't Hurry Love. Good little, I've always liked The Stray Cats. Uh, these next two I actually don't have covers for yet, uh, so I haven't made them yet. So we got um, Stray Cats, Stray Cats Strut, and You Don't Believe Me. And Stray Cats, uh, she's sexy and 17, and looking better every beer. I just need to make some covers for those, you know. Then we got Billy Idol, Eyes Without a Face and Blue Highway. Really solid. All of those were like a buck, so, you know, I'm not complaining of that. Next, we have, the, this one was from my buddy Will, and that is uh, Legends, it's called. It's a four-way split um, of, like, Quebec black metal. So it's like a Forteress, Monarch, I think it's pronounced, Chess, Gaffrey, I don't know. Some of the names I don't know how to pronounce, so I'll just leave it at that. Cool, though. We have uh, Steve Earle and the Dukes. This is uh, Fixin' to Die Live, and are you sure Hank done it this way? Also live. Really cool. Last up for the 7 inches, we have, uh, this is a, yeah, this is a limited edition um, picture disc, and it's uh, Blaze, You Dead Homie, and Twisted. So we got uh, Blaze featuring Twisted with Necromancy, and Twisted featuring Blaze with uh, Triple Threat. Good stuff. I'm not the biggest, like, rap fan and everything, but, you know, I like what I like. Next, I got this for, um, oh, that was, um, $6.50. $6.50. I got this for a buck, and it's just kind of awesome. It's, uh, Echoes of Glenn Miller. It's, you know, the, the new Glenn Miller Orchestra. You can't go wrong with some jazz and stuff, you know, it's good stuff. Let's see where I can put that. Next, I got two of these uh, Giants of Jazz boxes. I got uh, Art Tatum. They're three three record sets. I really like these. I pick these up whenever I happen to see one. So that was uh, five bucks, I think, that one. And this other one, which is really kind of neat. This was uh, Jelly Roll Martin. And this was uh, ten bucks. And this was actually still sealed. And I mean, this came out in like, I think it was like 1970-something. So it's been sealed since 1970-something. That's kind of cool. Next, I got this just the other day, actually. And this was uh, 25 bucks. That's uh, Nunslaughter Hex. This is really cool because it's on this like silver vinyl. And I mean, like, it's like genuinely shiny. It's kind of awesome. Um, I still haven't checked that out yet, but it'll be good. <clears throat> Next, we got uh, Power Wolf, uh, The Sacrament of Sin. I've just got into these guys recently. Um, just watched some uh, people reacting to their music, and they're pretty damn cool, honestly. So, uh, goodbye. I recommend that album to anyone. Pick that up. And we got another classic, um, working... I'm still working to complete my uh, studio albums of this, and this is uh, Iron Maiden, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Um, bit by bit, I'm I'm trying to get the all the studio albums. That was uh, twenty, I think. Next, we got uh, Dire Straits. Dire Straits, the first Dire Straits album. I got that. I I don't I don't know a, a bunch of these. I got from uh, a friend of the family. I bought them for like. I think it was like 60 bucks for like uh 15 or something like that like you know it was it was a it was a good price you know and they're all in immaculate condition so yeah dire straits then um 
The Eagles' greatest hits. You can never go wrong with the Eagles. I don't care what people say. Okay, th this one I did buy new, and this was um, 30 bucks. It's a bit expensive, but it's uh, Steve Earle and the Duke's Guy. Really solid album, actually. Then uh, Alice Cooper, Raise Your Fist and Yell. This is another one from uh, our family friend. Or, I don't know if they're... I don't know. They're, they're, or they're related to us. I don't know. Something like that. Next up, Born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. It's a classic. It, it is what it is, you know? Then we got uh, The Cult, Wildflower. This is actually a 2LP... Um, I guess you'd call it an EP, actually. And from what I know, it's just all uh, Wildflower Extended Rock Mix, Wildflower Dub Mix, Love Trooper, She Sells Sanctuary, Horse Nation, Interview with the Cult Part 2. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Then we got another one, the Alan Parsons Project, um, Ammonia Avenue. I pick these up whenever I get the chance. They're always pretty good. This is a definite good buy, and this was from that family, friend, slash whatever, and that is uh, The Empire Strikes Back, our original pressing, uh, really solid, sounds awesome, great stuff. Same place again, and that is uh, Murder on the Orient Express, the soundtrack. I love that movie, and the soundtrack's just kind of awesome. And last up, another one from my buddy Will. And that's uh, Frizzy DeFulci. Um, this was my, my birthday present. Hey, got here in October. <laughs> my birthday was in March. That's, that's what it says about, you know, the post office and everything. How long it can take. But yeah, that's just my vinyl update. Um, like I said, there'll be another one coming up in a bit. You know, I got um, a metalhead box coming through. Uh, they did... I, Got, like, a, the October one for some some reason. I just felt like getting it. And uh, another one my buddy Will sent me through. So, should be interesting. But, you know, that's it for now. See you next time.